Welcome back to Physics Junction. In today's video, let us talk about determination of moment of inertia of the given disc and the rigidity modulus of the suspension wire. The expression to calculate the moment of inertia is given here. That is I naught equal to 2m times d2 square minus d1 square times t0 square divided by t2 square minus t1 square. And the unit of moment of inertia is kilogram times meter square. As well, the expression for rigidity modulus n a equal to 16 times pi m d2 square minus d1 square divided by r to the power 4 times l over t2 square minus t1 square and the unit for rigidity modulus is newton per meter square. Now, let us define one oscillation. This is a suspension wire. We have a disc and this point is called the reference point. Once you click this right arrow, it will begin to oscillate. First it will go to right extreme, then it will go to left extreme and again it will come back to the reference point. So this is the reference point. So right extreme, then left extreme, again it will come to the reference point. This is called one oscillation. That Here I have given the link for the Torsen Bendlam virtual lab. Let's click and go there. So now I am going to select the material. So here I am going to select the material as brass that is the suspension wire material is brass then no mass disc mass as 1.2 kg disc radius as 5.2 cm then suspension wire length as 70 cm suspension wire radius is 0.05 cm then Click the right arrow and start oscillations. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I got 34 seconds, 272 milliseconds. This is trial 1. Then let's start trial 2. So let me start trial 2 with the same length 70 centimeter without mass. So let me set the variables again. This is to get the accurate reading. Disc mass 1.2 kg, disc radius 5.2 cm, then suspension wire length 70, radius is 0.05 cm. So here again it is without mass. This is trial 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So in trial 2, we got 34 seconds to 88 milliseconds. Let's continue our experiment with the identical mass at d1 equal to 1.5 cm. Again set the variable, the suspension wire brass. So this time the identical mass at d1 equal to 1.5 cm. Then identical mass as 20 gram. Then disc mass as 1.2 kg. Disc radius 5.2 cm. Then suspension wire length to 70 cm, suspension wire radius 0.05 cm. Then click right arrow and continue the oscillations. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 
10. 34 seconds 734 milliseconds. This is trial 2. Let me set the variables again. So the material is brass. An identical mass at 1.5 cm. Identical mass 20 gram. Disc mass 1.2 kg. Disc radius 5.2 cm. Suspension wear length 70 cm. Then suspension wear radius 0.05. Let's start the oscillations. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 10 34 seconds 879 milliseconds so this time we have to place the identical mass at uh, d1 equal to 4 centimeter let me set the variables again so the material as brass then identical mass at d equal to 4 centimeter this is trial 1 so the identical mass 20 gram Disc mass 1.2 kg, disc radius 5.2 cm, then suspension wire length is 70 cm, then suspension wire radius 0.05, then click and start the oscillations. One, two. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we got 35 seconds, 413 milliseconds. This is trial 2 with identical mass at D1 equal to 4 cm. Set the variables. Brass. Then D2 position as 4 cm. Mass 20 gram. Disc mass 1.2 kg. Radius 5.2 cm. Then suspension wire length. 70 centimeter radius 0.05 then start the oscillation this is our second trial and click on start the oscillations one two three four five six Seven, eight, nine, ten. Thirty-five seconds, three hundred and two milliseconds. I have entered all the readings in the table. The first one, without mass, the length of the suspension wire is seventy centimeter, and with the trial one. Uh, this is the time period for 10 oscillations so we got 34.272 seconds as well with the trial 2 we got 34.288 seconds so then calculated the mean of this trial 1 and trial 2 so that gives me 34.280 then this is the time period for 10 oscillations we need a time period for one oscillation so divide this with 10 so you will get 3.428 so without the mass the time period for one oscillation is 3.428 seconds the second one with identical mass at d1 equal to 1.5 centimeter so again we have trial 1 and trial 2 period of uh, 10 oscillations with trial 1 we have 34.734 seconds with trial 2 we got 34.879 seconds 
again mean of these two gives 34.806 and this is time period for 10 oscillations time period for one oscillations 3.480 seconds and third one is the identical masses at d2 equal to 4 centimeter and with the trial 1 we got 35.413 seconds with trial 2 we got 35.302 seconds mean of these two readings give 35.357 thus the time period for one oscillation with the identical masses at d2 equal to 4 centimeter equal to 3.535 seconds this is the summary of the previous table so length is 70 then period of one oscillation without the mass that is taken as t naught so that value is 3.428 with the mass at d1 the time period is 3.480 so that is taken as t1 then with the mass at d2 3.535 seconds so and this value is taken as t2 so we know t0 t1 and t2 and substitute all the values in this expression t0 square divided by t2 square minus t1 square and i calculated that value so as 30.52 30.52 then i calculated l over t2 square minus t1 square so that value is 1.818 so now we can substitute these values in the moment of inertia and rigidity modulus expression. So here we have the expression for the moment of inertia I naught and M value is 20 grams. So 20 times 10 power minus 3 kilograms. Then T2 square value, T1 square value. Then this is T naught square over T2 square minus T1 square. So that is 30.52. After the substitution, I calculated I0 equal to 0.001678 kg meter square. Here I have given the theoretical calculation of moment of inertia of the given disk. So the formula is I equal to MR square by 2 where M is the mass of the disk. R is the radius of the disk. So mass of the disk is 1.2 kg and radius of the disk is 5.2 times 10 power minus 2 meter substitute the values and I calculated the moment of inertia as 0 0.00162 kilogram meter square so this is the theoretical value and the calculated value is 0 0.001678 kilogram meter square the next one is calculation of rigidity modulus of the given brass wire the formula is given here so we know L over t2 square minus t1 square value as 1.818 and substitute other values to so after the calculation I got the rigidity modulus n equal to 4.018 times 10 power 10 Newton per meter square. This is the rigidity modulus of the given brass wire that is 4.018 times 10 power 10 Newton per meter square. I hope this video is uh, more helpful to you all. If you have any questions let me know. Thanks for watching.